So the first one is letting a God disrespect you without making him pay a price. Okay? When a God disrespect you, he's testing to see whether or not you whether or not you're a pushover. You gotta stand up for yourself. The second thing is texting fast and responding fast. As 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 superficial as it is, people interpret that as as though you're pretty desperate. And the last thing is that is bluffing that you're gonna break up with him and not do it. Bluffing, saying that you're gonna stand up for yourself and not do it. Okay? When you bluff and say you're gonna do something when he disrespects you and then you don't do it, let me tell you something, man. When you say I'm not gonna suck your dick because then you dis because you disrespected me and then you end up sucking his dick. There's no respect, okay? Don't do that and tell people you watch my channel. The reason why good girls get played is because you guys are gullible. You guys are naive about human nature. You guys think that if you're, if you tell the guy what you want, like it's a, it's a goddamn fucking movie, if you tell the guy what you want, if you're opening enough, if you're happy enough, right? And, 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 and if you show that you have a good heart and that you feed the kids and that you go to Africa and help kids, that that makes a guy's dick hard. I don't make a guy like you. You know what I'm saying? That makes a guy think that you're weak. If you tell a guy how much you love him in the first week, if you buy into a guy telling you how much he loves you all the time, if you're always smiling, always forgiving, always giving second chances, always thinking that he's gonna change, you're just asking to get, you're asking to be played by me, to be honest with you. You're asking to be played by me because I'm the toxic dating coach. When a guy likes you because of his ego, because you validate his ego, because you make him feel like the shit, you know? Because he feels like the, the shit around you, right? As soon as you open up to him, it kind of, how can I say it? It, it? It's almost like, it's almost like he'll like you as long as you're distant. Why? Because it's a challenge for his ego. As soon as you open up, all of a sudden the challenge is gone. And, and what's really inside becomes revealed. In other words, and let's just say he kind of liked to chase, but deep down he actually likes you, right? When you open up, his ego, his, his the, the pleasure that his ego gets from chasing you goes away, but the chemistry, the connection stays. But for the most part, most people, they feel the egoic drive to be with you. But deep down, there is nothing in, there's nothing, there's no internal thing driving it. It's only external. It's a difference between, it's a difference between extrinsic motivation, the desire to achieve something for glory, the desire to achieve something for money and fame versus intrinsic motivation. The desire to do something for your own good. The desire to do something because you find pleasure in it. The desire to do something because you want to get good at something. The real motivator and what keeps you going, let's just say to the gym, if your desire to go to the gym is to, is to impress that girl, that, desire, that motivation will go out as soon as you reach your goal. But if your desire is to live a healthy life, and because you know the benefits of working out, all of a sudden you'll notice you're more consistent and you actually end up impressing the girls at the, at the end of the day. What I'm trying to say is that naturally some guys have it in them and, and, and it's only when you validate them through either one sex or two opening up to him that he is going to, um, that he is going to reveal who he is. Now, it's not that opening up turns him off. But that opening up reveals what's inside of them. You get what I'm trying to say? Opening up shows you what's inside. And this is what happens a lot. And it's actually maybe a good idea to open up after like three months. After two or three months, I would prefer that you open up. Because after two or three months, naturally, he should already have some feelings for you. And if you open up, it might, it, he might feel uncomfortable. But, it, it, but he's been with you for so long that there's already some kind of attachment. If after two or three months, there's still no attachment after you open up and he pulls away, then let it be. This is who he is. This is how he feels about you. He's not a bad person. It's just that you, it's not it. He's not it and you're not it. Red flags in the beginning of a relationship. One, if he takes more than 10 hours to respond consistently. I don't give a fuck if, he, if his grandma choked on the pork chop. You better fucking respond fast. Everybody has their phone in their hands, okay? Number two, always late on dates, okay? You're never late for your job. For some reason, you're late for my for a date with me. When in the first month, also last one is wondering if you if he likes you in the first two or three months. If you get a mixture of that, it's better off to back away, cancel the date, pull away, be a little cold, and let him warm up to you. Okay? Or call him out on why he takes so long to respond back. 
Because that's not fucking normal. And if he keeps doing it, break up with him. He don't like you. And friends. Having friends makes you more attractive. Having alliances makes you more attractive. And the reason why is because evolutionarily speaking, the more friends you have, the more connections you have, the more ability you have to get out of problems. And women find that attractive. Why? Because it's beneficial for her. So that's why you have to focus on making friends. Making friends is really important. A woman will judge you based on your friends a lot more. If they see that you have good friends, she'll like you even more. And that's why you have to be careful with the friends that you surround yourself with. The last one is skills. Being good at something. Master something. Because to the woman, it indicates discipline. It indicates that you have self-control. It indicates you have a strong mentality. So that's why I recommend you guys get good at something. Pick up a sport and practice it to into the point that you master that skill make sure that people who value that skill see you do never tell a guy how you really feel let him let, let him let him understand it through your words and actions why because the process of finding out if you like him or not is what makes him fall in love it's because he'll be thinking about you when you're not there i hope she likes me i hope this works out because usually things don't work out so there's this underlying fear that this pattern of, of things not working out is going to happen again but if you tell him how much you like him and with your words then tension breaks all of a sudden by you taking one hour to respond it's not going to make him anxious because you already told him you like him so keep that shit to yourself let him read it in your actions never by your words because in reality that's just your insecurity you want him to tell you you like him don't be selfish give him the gift of uncertainty and he'll love you for it the reason why when you like the guy they don't like you back is not because they don't they, they don't like you in general because i can promise you most likely they will have some chemistry with you the problem is, is that you're fucking up the natural process and how why are you fucking it up because you're trying too hard when you don't like the guy, you don't try too hard, and that's why they end up liking you or becoming obsessed. But when you like them, you try so hard that you validate him to the point where he says, oh, psh, I like her. Psh, of course she's going to text me back. There's no anxiety no more. There's no, does she like me or does she doesn't like me? Treat the way you treat the guys that you like the way you treat the guys that you don't like, and you'll notice there's a big difference. And if you, if you don't believe me, just look at the way you text guys you like and compare it to the way you text guys you don't like. The number one way to make a guy feel losing you is having a hint of coldness to your personality. That means learning how to withdraw, right? So that means when you're with them, the first few dates, you lower your nonverbals. If you want to smile, smile on the inside. It'll come through to your non through your nonverbals. But the point is, you got to have a hint of coldness in your personality. Other ways of withdrawal. And having coldness is through the way you text. Watch my videos on how to text a guy that you like in the previous video. But the point is, in order for a guy to fear losing you, you have to show him coldness. The problem is, is that when you like the guy, all you show him is happiness because you're so excited. Lower your nonverbals, have a hint of coldness, um, learn an economy of motion and economy of words, and you'll notice that he'll like you more. Look, the key to not getting played is simple. Focus on his actions and not his words. I don't give a fuck if he says he has to cancel on you for the third time in a row because his grandma choked on the pork chop or because he has to save the children in Africa. Fuck him, fuck his grandma, and fuck the children. Focus on his actions and not his words. I don't care if he tells you he loves you. I don't care if he tells you that I miss you and then disappears on you for three days. Fuck that shit because his words will, will, will cause you to literally forget that the fact that he disappeared on you for three days. Words are used as smokescreen to hide reality. You'll see the world through squinted gaze of fog of emotion. Listen, you got to punish these motherfuckers. If an ex of yours or a guy you're seeing on and off comes back, you can't just take him back. Motherfucker, there's a price to pay. Science has shown that if you ever, if there's a price for something, it actually tastes better and the experience is better, even though the the the, the thing doesn't change. So if a guy tries to come back, you gotta say, baby, you gotta make to make it up to me. So you could punish him in these ways. You can make him lick your ass, literally lick your ass. You can make him run down the block, run down a crowded street with his underwear, or make him write you. A five a five um, page essay why you should take him back. Make him pay that motherfucking price so that the next time he thinks about leaving you, he knows the price he gotta pay. And he'll appreciate you more. And the likelihood of him leaving will lower. This is your toxic dating coach. Whenever you notice somebody using guilt, using tears, you know, trying to use trying to use a past favor to date on your chest to get you to do something for them, it's it's a sign that you should definitely step away from, you know. Guys Guys are very big on using guilt a lot of times. You got to give people space to miss you. Like, you cannot be so available. 
when, when you like the guy, you become ultra available. And there's nothing wrong with that. But initially, 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 be a little difficult to get. Initially, at least, be a little difficult to get. And when somebody, if you're noticing that the guy's getting too comfortable because that happened during relationships, that's when you pull away a little bit. Or better yet, begin to anticipate when he's going to pull away before he does. When things are really, really great, pull away a little bit just for free or precautionary measures. Give him a little distance. Be a little busy. And it's not to manipulate him. It's to do him a fucking favor. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five-week course. Five-week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on based on specific issues the, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man this will help you create love this will help you deepen the love with your man this is not about manipulation this is not about playing games this is genuine genuine natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being a too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature, I will come, that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The Transformational Seminar in a Pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar, and the Chase Audiobook. This is a this originally is $1,800, but you get it starting at $97, ladies and gentlemen, right? $97. We have different packages, but all of this starts at $97. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you could just check it out for free, and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out, because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I can promise you. Just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're going to love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right? I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.